So I'm just gonna start spamming my bullets here, go as fast as I can Because elbows seriously guys require a lot of them just to do even any damage to him Look at that how fast he is, look at that, look at that Hello so guys, it is me Hipposark and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival So today we're gonna be clearing one of the biggest warehouses here in Scrap Mechanic Survival But before we go there, I actually want to craft a bed And I already guys prepared all the required resources So here we go guys, we're gonna craft like this respawn bed It's gonna take one minute to craft I think I'm gonna place that bed somewhere over here and just in case if I'm gonna die or whatever because most likely I am gonna die in that warehouse I'll be able to just respawn back at my vehicle. Well, here we go guys. I crafted a bed I took it with me We're gonna place it somewhere over here So if I'm gonna sleep and it says respawn point saved so that is nice now I can just exit my bed. I have enough gasoline I should have at least enough gasoline for life. Well, I had a little bit of crude oil So I just crafted some more gasoline just in case if I won't be able to get back to the base or whatever Well, I have enough gasoline. I have enough food. I have enough ammo for that warehouse At least I hope that I have enough ammo and now I'm gonna try to do my best to somehow some way to even locate that warehouse because last time when I tried to get to that place I almost lost my base, but again after like 10 minutes of extra traveling, I found my base. Here we go, you can already see, guys, this warehouse in a very, very distance. That's where I'm gonna go, and I think just literally right now we're gonna be fighting a boss over there, because in order to get to that warehouse, we will require to get, like, some sort of a key, and that key is only obtainable from that boss. And also, I completely forgot to mention that thank you guys for the support on that previous video, so if you want another Scrap Mechanic Survival video, smash that like button on the video. I appreciate all of your support. Okay, so now I can see that there are a bunch of and bunch of turns, so where do I go? I go over here, maybe? Probably that's where I will have to go. Wait, I'm just gonna exit this car. You know what, guys? I'm gonna craft, like, some sort of a sign where I have to go. Because this is where I came from. It's sh The sign is gonna show me that I gotta go over there. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if I'll be able to use it properly, but whatever. At least that's some sort of a sign. Okay, so we can see that warehouse. We're getting there closer and closer, but I think this is another road. Yes, guys, this is definitely another road, so I'm just gonna stop my car over here. And uh, this is where I'll have to go, so I'm gonna craft, guys, another sign just so that when I'll have to get back, I'll be able to know where is my base. Let's sit back in my car and let's try to drive uh, over there. Please tell me I'm driving the correct way. Well, that's it. The road here ends, but the warehouse is on the very top, so how do I get to that warehouse? I have no idea. Well, it's really sad. Apparently, I'll have to leave my car over here, which is really kind of dumb if you ask me. But hey, probably there is a better way to get here. I just don't know it, so... I don't think, guys, that this is the proper way to get to the warehouse. I see that there is another road, but I don't know how to get to that road. So we are gonna go just like that. Very nice. So my car is gonna stay there, and in case if I'm gonna die, I will still respawn back at this car, and I'll have to climb this hill again, so that's the only drawback, but hopefully I'm not gonna die. So behold, guys, this is the biggest warehouse probably on this map, because there is like... Uh, okay, so the game just loaded in even more stuff, so one floor, two floors, three, and four floors. So this game is gonna have four floors. I mean, not this game, but this warehouse is gonna have four floors. So what I have to be careful about is that there might be like those tape bots and they do lots of and uh, lots of damage here go like this is the tape bot you can kill them just with one shot but they can do like 50 percent damage to you and they shoot like really fast if you won't know where they're coming from you're gonna die really quickly and i have like a couple of sacks of ammo i have like 160 ammunition here but that's not a lot okay so there's something over here maybe we'll be able to get like good items okay so this is just red beat yes you know what still food is appreciated okay so look at this guys they're already shooting me and i've already gotten 55 damage wow wow that is uh, I see this guy, so we're gonna do one, two, three. Most likely I shouldn't be using my potatoes on these simple guys because I should save those potatoes when I will get inside of the warehouse because that warehouse is just gonna be completely filled with those tape bots. Okay, so inside of here, we're gonna get some more food. Yeah, I think we're gonna pick up everything, why not? And in another crate, we are gonna get another component kit. Yes, I need component kits. I think that in this guy's warehouse, we're gonna get a bunch of and bunch of components as it's kind of worth it. Plus, there has to be like that big guy. I don't know where he is. I think I see another tape bot, so we'll be able to... So here we go, just destroy that tape, but I'll be able to maybe aggro like this guy. Here we go, he's probably gonna attack me. Maybe he didn't even see me. Okay, so he did see me. The only thing that I am scared about, as I said, is that big guy, the big boss. He's gonna like probably require maybe 100 ammunition to just to kill him. So maybe I'm not gonna have enough ammo for this entire warehouse. Okay, so now my bad because I totally guys forgot that he will soak in like probably 100 potatoes just to kill that boss. Okay, so there's the tape bot. Boom, tape bot, go to sleep, sleep. I think there is another tape bot over there. So boom, destroyed another tape bot. It's 
It's very nice that they take only one bullet, but that doesn't mean that they are easy. Okay, so I see, guys, this big guy. This is so annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna try to attack this dude. He's gonna start attacking me, and then we'll have to fight, guys, that big guy. I don't know where we're gonna go. I have zero clue what I'll be, what I'll have to do. It would be awesome if I could just cheese him somehow, some way, but I don't think it will be possible. Do I see anybody else there? Okay, so I'm gonna try to clear this place. Maybe there's gonna be somebody... Here we go, guys. There's another bot. Kill that bot. There is another bot. So first things first, I just want to clear this area before I start fighting this guy because I did not fight this guy alone in my previous world. I fought that guy with my brother and I think we both used about like 50 potatoes just to kill him and I never even tried to kill this guy alone. But look at him, guys. He's kind of scary, not gonna lie. He's definitely kind of scary. So I think I'll be able to lure him just like that. And I mean, we'll see. I'll just keep walking around. So I'm just gonna start spamming my bullets. Here go as fast as I can because I will seriously, guys, require a lot of them just to do even any damage to him. Look at that, how fast he is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just spamming it right now. Go to sleep. Oh no. He's behind me. Look at that. He's already done 10 damage to me. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Oh no. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to kill him? Die, 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 as fast as you can. Is he dead? I think I killed him! I killed him myself! Nice! That is so cool! Oh wow, but I literally, guys, just spammed those bullets. I spammed as many bullets as I can. So look at this, guys. We're gonna get the warehouse key. We're gonna get a component kit and one, like, the circuit board, which is completely garbage. But yes, we've gotten a warehouse key. I'm gonna pick up a battery because maybe we'll be able to craft, like, an electric engine. So we have, like, now only 86 of those potatoes, which isn't a lot. I don't think you'll be able to get any more potatoes uh, inside of, like, this warehouse. But that doesn't even matter. Okay, so I think we looted almost this entire place. I'll just have to find the entrance here. Would be really great if I could just take my car here with me. So that in case if I die, I'll be able to just respawn over here. But I think already the hardest part is gone. We're just gonna loot this thing. Yes, some carrot seeds. Didn't mean to pick them up. We have a lot of carrot seeds already. So the last thing I need is just some useless carrot seeds. Okay, so here we go. There's this guy. We shredded him. So I don't think there has to be any more bosses. Here we go. There's the entrance. Uh, I don't see any other tape bots because they're the biggest problem. And if you're going to like encounter two or three tape bots, that's it. You might as well call yourself dead. So this is where we'll have to get inside, guys. This is going to be the entrance. But before I go there, there's still one more crate. So I just... Oh, no. There's the tape bot. I didn't see it. Uh, boom. How did this tape bot did not see me? This is seriously, guys, luck. So before I get inside, I think we're gonna get little. Uh, we're gonna eat a little bit of beetroots because why not? I'm also gonna drink some milk. And boom, we are basically filled on everything. Maybe there's gonna be like another battery or whatever, but I don't kind of care about it. So I'm gonna try to take like this warehouse key. Where is it? So here we go, guys. We have like this warehouse key. I'm gonna take it instead of that. And boom, we're gonna place that inside. Bloop, activated. Very nice. I think I can click on the button, elevator is gonna open up, and we're gonna hop inside. I don't really know how many floors we'll be able to clear, because I obviously don't have enough potatoes. Like, I think I need, like, maybe 150 to clear this entire uh, warehouse, or maybe that's gonna be enough. Because, again, this place is not gonna have any more bosses. That's, like, another spoiler alert. This place is just gonna have a bunch of and bunch of tape bots. So, here we go, guys, we're gonna activate the elevator. Stealing products is a serious crime. Okay, whatever you say, whatever you say, bro. In case of fire, there are no stairs. Sorry, wow. Wow. Okay, so here we go, guys. This place just loaded in, and let's hop inside of this uh, warehouse. Again, so all I'm trying to do here is just listen for clues, and you gotta, like, walk really carefully on each corner here, because they will be, will be standing everywhere, around every corner. And the point is, you might shove your face, and there he will be just standing here, and just he will start shooting you, and there's no way you'll have enough time to react. So I think he already just saw me. Boom, look at this. I, I shot him once, and he did not die. But he shot me once, and I lost, like, what, 50% of health. So if there's another guy now who would attack me, I might just die with another shot. So that's why they're super scary. Here we go, guys. There's another tape bot. Go to sleep, stupid tape bot. I'm gonna pick up all the batteries. And for some reason, the warehouse is a little bit more laggy. So that's weird. And at the same time, you cannot pick up here anything in this warehouse. So that's the biggest problem with the warehouse right now is that it's kind of useless. The only thing that it's useful for is that at the very end of this warehouse, you'll be able to get, like, broccoli seeds. And with those broccoli seeds, you'll be able to... Wait, however it's called. I'll be able to get a better gun, right? I'll be able to get a shotgun. So here we go. There's this dude. Boom. Go to sleep. There's another guy behind that fence, but he cannot exit it. I don't think there, there's anybody else, right? Yeah, I think so far it's fine. If I just had hundreds and hundreds of potatoes, I could go and guys destroy like this fence here uh, with bullets. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna take back my weapon and he had to be somewhere over here. Boom. Go to sleep. How is he not dead? 
Okay, so another 55 damage to my face. Okay, so at least this guy restores my health, like, pretty quickly, right? Cannot destroy that thing. Okay, so we're gonna go there. And the point is, like, it's kind of hard to navigate yourself here in this place because there's a lot of stuff going on. And everything here looks kind of the same. Do I see anything? I think I heard something. Where is he? I can hear one of those tape bots somewhere here, but another problem, you cannot even pick up here the soil bags, which is really, really disappointing. So you cannot pick up these soil bags. There is really nothing you can pick up here. But again, this game is like, I mean, this survival mode is somewhat in better right now. And I do think that in the future, there will update like this warehouse. Let's take all of these things. And again, some people were speculating that, you know, that up the top, there is like some sort of an encryptor that you have to remove and then you'll be able to start picking up all the items here but it doesn't probably still really work so i'm going here on the very top but i don't think it's really useful as there's nothing here here go guys there's literally nothing here and the point is like exploring this entire warehouse is kind of even useless because all you have to do is just to get to the highest floor as soon as possible because that's where all the loot is going to be located but i assume that now guys this is where we have to go where i opened up like that tape uh, taped thing. I gotta be very careful and I don't have to rush here, but there was another dude. Please, here go. He's just dead. Sniper. 10 out of 10. So I can hear more of those tape bots, but I just can't see where they are. I think uh, they're gonna be behind like that tape wall. Okay, so I don't see anything else over here. I think I picked up uh, everything. We're gonna take that. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna take my thing. We're gonna guys destroy that wall. Just like that, I'm gonna take back my weapon, and uh, I'm just trying to go and aim at them here once again. If I'm gonna see at least one face, I'm gonna start shooting. But I don't see them. I don't see them. Honestly, I don't see a single tape bot here, but I hear a lot of them. I hear a lot of them. The frames here are dropping. Here, go down to sleep! Well, here, I killed another guy. There has to be another guy. Oh my god, he scared me to die! Ooh, he just literally popped out of nowhere. Imagine getting scared in scrap mechanic. I just died. That's what I say, guys. This is so tough. I just died in, for some reason, 18 frames per second. Why is it like that? I'm gonna respawn back here at my car, which is, hey, really amazing. But I'll have to get back to the top once again. And all of my potatoes are gonna be just there. So if I'm not gonna be able to pick up now my potatoes, that will be the saddest thing in the world. Well, here we go. I just climbed to the top once again. So the second time, it's a lot easier to climb because I've already done that. And I'm not really sure if I'll be able to even go and take back my bag because there are gonna be lots of those stay bots around that place and I don't think I can fight them with this hammer. Sometimes you can cheese like one of those stay bots with your hammer, but there were like two or three stay bots there, so there's no way I'll be able to kill them just like that. Please uh, drop me, uh, no, no component kits. Because I would love to get some more component kits all the time, baby, every day. Because then I'd be able to upgrade my engine, I'd be able to upgrade my suspension, and I'd be able to start building some other items, but uh, whatever. We're gonna, guys, call the elevator, because I think that elevator was now on the second floor, so it's gonna get down, guys to the other floor. I also think that you could even start uh, doing this place from the fourth floor. If you would just have like, if you just crafted some sort of a helicopter or whatever, you would get to the very top and you can start like probably doing this warehouse from the very top. I'm not sure about that, but I think you can enter from that place as well. So maybe that's what I should have done, but there's no way I'd be able to climb to the very, very top. In any case, guys, here we go. We are back inside of this warehouse. Plus there's some more stuff. I see there is my dead body. Maybe they're gonna teleport my dead body somewhere to a different place, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I just see my body over here already. Oh no, here we go. One tape bot already over here. 55 damage, bruh. Oh no, I'm dead, but at least I killed one tape bot. So this is what you'll have to do. You'll just have to keep coming back and killing those tape bots. I hate my life. I hate my life. So another tip, if you're playing like here solo or whatever, it's really nice to have like some sort of a chest on your car and leave some potatoes inside of that car. So just in case if you're gonna die, you will still be able to get back and fight like those tape bots with your potatoes because as of right now, I'll, I just have like that hammer and it's not that good. Oh yeah, and also you can pick up here a couple of materials, but again, those materials here aren't gonna be that great. I mean, we're, we can just literally disassemble this entire booth so I can take guys all of these items I can take all of that boom so I'm gonna take definitely guys all of these materials but just as I said it's not really like that useful and what is this can I like take those wires what were those wires wires short I have no idea what that is but hey I picked it up so here we go I'm waiting for this elevator once again and I think my problem was that I definitely came in there way too quickly if I just start hearing like those tape bots I should run away somewhere like in some sort of a corner and just wait until they're gonna come out but I have not done that I just stood there in that one place. And sadly, you cannot craft here any armor. You cannot craft here any, like, some sort of defense or shield or whatever. You just have these items, so there's no way you can protect yourself from these tape bots. So I think that now these tape bots are gonna be a little bit closer. So I already see, guys, my dead two dead bodies. One over there, another one over here. So should I sneak? 
I mean, I'm gonna try to sneak behind that guy, because there's gonna be like one tape bot, but I gotta be very... Here we go, that tape bot is gonna come to me now. So I'm gonna... It should not die! 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 Well, yes, guys. Oh, no! Excuse me for screaming. Why am I screaming so... <laughs> Dead again. In case emergency, break glass. And what, you're gonna get this banana? And what's the point that you'll get a banana here? I don't get it. In any case, we are back here inside of this warehouse. So there has to be another tape bot. I think that tape bot just seen me. So what I'm gonna do is stay over here. Hopefully he's not gonna turn to this side strict away. I'm gonna just gonna attack him. Here we go. Go to sleep. Die! Yes, guys, he's dead. So I'm gonna try to move kind of cautiously because I don't have a lot of health. So it's always... A, a lot smarter to move here when you ha will have like full health or whatever So I'm gonna try to guys loot my one more body and I'm almost full in health I really like that this game lets you max out your health really quickly. I mean you, your health resets here pretty quickly So that's good uh, I'm almost full. I just want to reset my health fully this way I think I'll be able to tank like two bullets at least and plus my guy is hungry right now So I definitely got to go and get my stuff from over there. Oh when you're hungry You're not resetting your stuff. So I think I got everything. Let's go guys. Let's pick it up nice I picked up everything so I'm gonna gonna hide now behind like this place somewhere and I'm just gonna eat a blueberry because why not right we have enough of those blueberries like maybe they're a little bit rare or whatever hey guys let's eat them we don't care well guys that's it somehow some way I sorted out my entire inventory I still have like what a little bit of ammo I think I'll be able to place this ammo literally over here just so that I can see in real time all the time how much ammo I've got guys so let's get back to that warehouse wait my guy okay so your guy cannot run unless you will scope again so there's my dead body but I don't have anything over here okay so maybe it's just showing that this is where you died okay whatever so uh, i just gotta be guys now very careful shoved my face hide hidden again i don't think they have seen me right because i haven't seen them where are they okay so i see one guy stay bot over there can i like uh okay i missed that tape bot just like that here go that tape bot is sleeping i don't know if there are any more tape bots i will assume there definitely has to be a lot more Okay, so where is he shooting me from? I don't see it again. Uh, so I can just tank only one more bullet. That's it. Die! And I died again from him. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. Would be really great. You know, you can probably craft here some sort of a revival baguette, right? And with that revival baguette, you'll be able to probably reset yourself. Like, if you're gonna die, you'll get another life. At least that works in multiplayer. I'm not sure if that works in single player. So here we go, guys. I'm back inside of this warehouse and I can see my bag here already rolling. So I don't think there are any more tape bots. Yes, I think I killed that tape bot. I mean, there are definitely, guys, more tape bots, that's for sure, but I don't think there are any tape bots, like, right here in front of my face. Well, let's say I picked up everything once again. Still cannot, guys, pick up, like, those uh, bags. That's kind of sad. Uh, do I go to the top or is there gonna be anybody? This is so scary to come here and talk at the same time because you have to listen to them. And as they said, they are very, very dangerous. Well, I don't see here anybody. They gotta be somewhere over here because I still can hear one person, but whatever. Uh, there's gonna be some fertilizer. Yes, guys, let's take 10 fertilizers, some batteries. Hey, batteries are really great. Batteries are basically here, like, fuel. If you will craft, like, that electric engine, you'll be able to place those batteries, and that's it. So I'm not even sure if I have to go to the very top, but maybe I'll be able to get here, like, some sort of cool chests. You know, inside of those chests, I'll get some components. So at least something, uh... I just popped my face here. I don't see anybody. I don't think there's anyone. So I got to be very careful to not fall down. And again, more bags, more soil bags would be really great if you could pick them up, but you cannot. Well, whatever. I think we're going to now descend a little bit lower. And I just hope that at least I'm going to the right way because somewhere here at the very end, there has to be another elevator that will lead us to the second floor. The point is, I can hear a tape bot somewhere very close. Well, I just hope that that tape bot is not behind me. I think if he was behind me, he would have already started shooting me. Here go, one guy is dead. Somebody else is shooting me from another side. That's it, I'm dead again, and I'll have to come back here once again. This is annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It would be so much easier just to get back to that place if I just parked my car somewhere over here, but no, I parked it, like, really far away. Completely not on purpose, though, because I couldn't get to this warehouse from the other side. So the question is now, will I be able to pick up my stuff and not die from that guy here once again? Because if I'll die again, I'll have to run to this place completely again. So here we go, he's just walking. Okay, I can see you there. Can he see me, though? I think he saw me. Yes, I think he saw me. Wait, I'm gonna try to hide over here then. No, I don't think he saw me, guys. All I wanna do now is for him to find me. Here we go, he has seen me, so I gotta hide over here in the corner. And hopefully as soon as he comes in, I'm just gonna bash his head. Don't turn around here, don't look at me. Don't look at me. As soon as he comes in, I'm gonna bash his head. Hey, stupid, he just turned around. Hey, I'm here. Hey, schmuck. Here we go, he just saw me. He started shooting at me here once again. 
Uh, is he gonna come after me? I think he will. So I'm gonna guys hide. Here we go once again over here on the very top. He does not see me. I'm here, you schmuck, you idiot, you blind schmuck. Die! Here we go, I just killed him, nice. Stupid schmuck. So I'm not sure if my body is gonna be over here or if this was the same guy. Probably I can take my stuff back. Yes, we can. Well, I have only like, what, 61 potato left, so I don't think I'll be able to clear this entire warehouse. But again, at least I'll try to get to the second floor, maybe. Maybe there are gonna be some tape bots over there, but I don't think that's gonna be big of a problem. Again, clearing this place solo is a lot different than clearing it with somebody else, because as I said, I cleared this entire warehouse with my brother, and it was a lot easier. Okay, so I don't think I can pick up any items from this place, so I'm just gonna go lower now. I don't see any tape bots. I I hear them. Okay, so there's guys one tape bot just die here go just killed one tape bot noise very nice and very beautiful there were no chests under that place so uh, i think there is another tape bot somewhere wait i'm gonna take a battery so i see guys one more tape bot i think as soon as he's gonna pop his face i'm gonna show him who's the real boss i can hear more tape bots everywhere but i don't know where they're coming from i think i'll have to go there though guys to get to another floor so you know what i'm gonna try to go over here because i think you have to go where those tape walls are i'm not sure at this point guys i'm honestly not sure do i go over here yeah i'm gonna try to go there I'm gonna try to go here. Do I see any bots? Uh, I don't see anything over here. This is so annoying because they can be standing, guys, anywhere you want. And they do lots of and lots of damage, as you already know this. Okay, so I see, guys, one more bot. Boom. Stupid idiot. Well, at least he opened up that door for me, so I think I know where I'll have to go now. So here we go. There's utility room. That's what he opened up. So I'm gonna get, guys, inside of like this. Utility room, and I think I'll have to go... Elevator! Yes, guys, this is another elevator. So without even waiting, without any further ado, I'm just gonna go over here. Obviously, it would be nice to go, guys, and clear this entire place to get, like, some more chests or whatever. But again, you don't really get any good stuff here. Probably maybe you'd be able to get, like, one extra component or whatever, but it's good enough. It's good enough. I'm just... I just want to get guys to the second floor now. So let's go to the second floor, and that's it. So it's just rinse and repeat. You'll just have to do the same thing now on the second floor, on the third floor, and then on the fourth floor, and on the very guy's fourth floor, you'll be able to get, like, a special chest with, like, those broccoli or whatever. I still have, like, what, 59 potatoes, so... I'm gonna try my best now to just go through all of those tape walls, and that's it, so... Nothing over here. Okay, so a lot of them already have attacked me. So all I'm gonna do now is just hold an angle here, and as soon as they pop in, I'm just gonna start shooting them, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go on. I'm holding an angle. Okay, so I'm trying to peek here now myself. Killed one tape bot. Nice. Somebody's behind me. I had no idea that there is somebody behind me, though. Die! Here we go. I killed the guys. Another tape bot. Uh, there's gotta be one more tape bot, though. I think so. There has to be, guys, one more tape bot. Here we go. There's this tape bot. Okay, he's dead. I didn't have to, like, waste two bullets on him. But again, I got scared, and this is where I'll have to go. I'm pretty sure that this is, guys, where I'll have to go. There's the tape bot. Can he open up the door himself? Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna, guys, open up that thing. I've gotten a shot in the face again. How are you kidding me, dude? I'm dead again. Are you kidding me? So even though I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but still, as I said, those tape bots are super lethal. Like two shots and you're dead. If they're gonna be like two tape bots, basically you can just die instantly like that because they're doing 55 damage and I think you have like only what, 100 health? Maybe 110, I'm not sure. Maybe you have 120 health here because sometimes you don't die with two shots, but maybe between like that second shot you heal up a little bit, that's why you don't die. But again, guys, they're super lethal. You've already seen that yourself. Like, it All it takes is just like boom, one shot and you're dead. That would be a lot cooler if I just had my car somewhere closer here because I just have to keep running here. So I just do like extra two minutes, three minutes just of running to get back to this place. And now when we will get to the second floor, we'll somehow, some way, guys, have to find that way on how to get to the second floor. And I don't even see my bags on the second floor because uh, the second floor has to load in to see where I died. Okay, so there is a component kit. I'm not sure why he even spawned here. Why that I mean components get even spawned here, but again, I'm gonna pick it up. So I'm just hoping that I still remember where I have to go. Uh, we are gonna... I don't know where we're gonna go. Okay, so probably this is where... I went. Yeah, I assume. I just hope that I'm not gonna encounter here any other tape bots before I get to that other place. Here we go. He was standing over there. I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. I'm so dead! 
Okay, so actually my goal has changed now. I don't really plan to go and clear this entire warehouse because I have to now at least to go and pick up my stuff because there are now two tape bots in front of me and if I'm not going to pick up my stuff, basically I lost everything. I mean, it's not like I have there lots of stuff. You still have here your guns or whatever, so at least you don't lose your main items, which I really think it's a great, great feature here about this game because if you die, you're going to keep like all of your important items, but still I have there a little bit of potatoes. I have like a little bit of berries or something and I still have like some sort of important items there because I don't know why, but I brought here a drill with me, so I don't want to lose that drill. So somehow, some way, I at least have to take back my items. And I'm not sure. Maybe we will continue here. Maybe we'll do like another floor or something. Or maybe I'll just try to do like this entire warehouse here once again with my brother. But again, it all will depend on what you guys want. And if you will even want guys to make me another scrap mechanic survival video. But all that stuff does not matter as I still have to go and take back my items. So I'm going to be a little bit careful now. It's not like I wasn't careful here at all. I'm just always walking here like step by step. Whenever you hear them, you just walk here step by step and you still die. And you still die. If I could only craft here some sort of armor, like my life would be so much better. But my life is not better because you cannot craft armor here. You cannot do anything. Okay, so that tape bot, guys, is supposed to be somewhere over there. Again, I don't want to crouch because I'm not going to be able to run. Or Okay, whatever. We can crouch maybe. Maybe he's not going to see me. Okay, so the tape bot have just seen me. He's going to go over there. Die! Yes, yes, I'm... Day. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Here go. Ooh, my body. My body. Okay, so it was uh, just other stuff. My one component. And I think I can hear more day bots again. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Well, I think I reset my health at least a little bit. So I'm gonna try to go over here. I think I heard some day bots. Honestly, guys, I don't know where is another floor. I don't remember now. I think here. Yes, indeed, guys. That was uh, another floor over here and more day bots. That's another day bot, bro. What is he doing here? Die! That's it. I think he's dead. Is there another tape bot? I think I have to go over here, though. I think, guys, I have to go over here to another floor. I think I hear another tape bot coming in, but my health does not restore. Okay, so elevator is not here. I thought the elevator is over here, but where is elevator? In the utility room? Okay, so I see, guys, the, the elevator. I'm just gonna run for it. I'm just gonna run for it. And the point is, my health now does not reset, and there's gonna be, like, that tape bot guarding my body. How on earth am I supposed to pick up, like, my body without any health? Like, that guy's just gonna one-shot me now. But again, if you're never gonna try, you will never know. So, I will try my best to go and pick up my stuff. So, here we go. We just loaded in. And I don't think... Okay, so one of my my dead bodies over there. Plus, there is, like, that tape bot, right? That's where I died. I'm gonna try to sneak behind the tape bot. Maybe that would work. So, I just wanna see his pattern or something. Maybe he's gonna have, like, some sort of pattern. Okay, so he still cannot see me. That's good. That's good. He's gonna turn around now. He's gonna shoot me, guys. I'm dead. Die! How on earth he didn't die? How on earth did he see me? Well, somehow, guys, some way we're back here inside of this warehouse. I'm just gonna now do my best to get back to that second floor. I think now I remember where I have to go. But the keyword here is I think, because again, I might have just forgotten or whatever. Uh, not here. Okay, so we gotta go down for sure. Here we go. There's utility and we have an elevator over here. Let's go. So now I'm gonna be on the second floor, plus I have full health. Maybe I'll be able to tank two bullets. Maybe I'll be able to tank only one bullet once again. In any case, I can tank at least one bullet because I have full health, so I don't think I'll be able to die just like that. But again, it's Cyric. Everything is possible, baby. So yeah, just as I said, my goal is to take back my items and I don't want to risk them to lose them once again on like some sort of third floor. Imagine still keep going here like this and dying like on the third floor, on the fourth floor. So basically when you're doing like this place, you have to park your car as close as you can to this entrance and you have to fill up like your entire car with potatoes. So just in case if you die, you don't lose anything. You just come back here and you get more potatoes and that's it. You just get back your items. And I didn't prepare for it completely 100% properly. So what I'm going to try to do now is sneak behind this guy right here. Go. I just want to know his pattern where he's going to turn now. So I think this tape but is gonna turn around clockwise. Now he's gonna turn that side. Look at this. He just turned that side. I can just literally stay like this and attack him once again and he's dead. That schmuck. Nice. So I'm just gonna take back all of my items. Everything that I can. Here we go. I picked up everything and I think I'm gonna get back to elevator to leave this place because I really guys don't want to risk again to lose everything I have. Let's eat like one carrot just to restore at least a little bit of health and the problem is now to get back to the base because you think that is gonna be... I mean it should be a lot easier because I didn't bring the car over here so the roads are still connected to my base but if I somehow some way would have came and 
and parked my car closer to this warehouse, I wouldn't be able to get to the base that easily because these roads from the warehouse don't lead to my base for some reason. I don't know why this world spawned like that. Another point is how on earth am I gonna now backtrack myself? Because I, I only know how to get to this place, but I don't know how to get out of this place. Here we go, guys. This is the elevator. So finally, somehow, some way, I'll be able... Uh, wait, this is not the second floor. Oh, no, this is the down floor. But why does it tell me that I'm going up? It's super weird. Because I'm clearly going down here. I just want to leave this place. I want to somehow, some way, get back to my base peacefully now. So here we go. I am outside. Nice. Okay, so I think I found my car because it has to be just over here down this hill. Here we go, guys. This is going to be my car. So I'm going to descend lower. Uh, don't break your knees. Here we go. Everything's fine. So I'm going to sit back in my car. Wait, I want to add some more gasoline because I should have enough gasoline. Here we go. We do. And how many components do I have now? I think I have like five components. So even though I didn't clear this entire place, but I've gotten like five components. I mean, what can I upgrade that with it? Nothing. I need 10 components just to upgrade that stuff. I mean, I can upgrade the seat a little bit. I would love to upgrade. Wait, once, twice. And here we go. I still need to fifth level to upgrade it, so whatever. But at least, guys, I crafted here this bed on my car. Just imagine dying and walking on foot to this place all the time. That would be really, really crazy. Okay, so I have to see if my marks here on the road are gonna even help me out to get back to the base. And the point is, warehouse is definitely fine, but I'm not here prepared properly for it. Not at least yet. As I said, I need here a bunch of and bunch of potatoes here, so we have to go to this side. And if I had a bunch of potatoes here in my car, and if I place that car a lot closer, then yes, we could probably clear that entire warehouse. And here we go, guys. Another landmark that tells me to go just like that. So that's where we are gonna go. Okay, so I see, guys, another, this simple place. And I still have some... One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. This dude is dead. Maybe they're gonna drop a couple of components, because why not? Because, you know, guys, I was not able to clear that warehouse, but maybe I can clear at least, like, this thing. Why not? Here we go. There's two, three, four... Here we go, he's dead, he's dead. Kinda sad that you cannot one-shot them. I just, I forgot that they are a lot easier than the other things. Go to sleep. Thank you very much. And they just dropped a simple electronic circuit. Bunch of hands that I could probably refine for metal, but I think we have a lot of metal now, especially when we have that drill. But at this point, guys, I have lots of and lots of batteries, so maybe I should craft, like, that electric engine for sure. Okay, glass block and a garment box. What? I never even had that. Let's get it. I mean, I don't even have the, the dresser, because you can craft a dresser here and get, like, some sort of different skins or whatever and we've got another component yes 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 and here we go guys another chest over here can i crawl yes indeed we can boom please tell me more components please yes components some more chemicals and very close guys to this place uh, there's one more some sort of a building that we can clear i don't even know how they're called but whatever, it's just some sort of a building, so we're gonna clear it as well. Just for the sake of some really quick resources, and at the same time, I get to use my weapon here. So one, two, three, four, five, go to sleep, sleep. Okay, so I think more of them are coming in. At least they're gonna come in from the other side. Okay, so they're coming in. They just fell. One, two, three, four, five. One of them is still alive. Die. And another one is dead as well. So are they gonna drop me at least one component? Here goes some more components. Not a big deal. Inside of this crate, we're gonna get more components. So you know what? Maybe clearing warehouse isn't the best idea. If you could pick up everything there, then yeah, it would be worth it. But as of right now, it's not even worth it to clear that entire warehouse. It's fun to clear it for broccoli. So my... I'm out of guys' potatoes. I cannot even use potatoes anymore in these guys. So we'll have to use my hammer to clear, like, the rest of this place. And we're almost at the top, so why not do it? And plus, we have a bunch of and bunch of batteries. And from what I know, you don't really need a bunch of batteries to even power up, like, that uh, engine. Like, that electric engine. So maybe with the batteries that I have... How many batteries I got here now? I think we have like over 20. Where are my batteries? So here we go. We have 22 batteries, which I think are gonna last way longer than like stack of gasoline. Let's go green, guys. Let's go green. Say no to fossil fuels. <laughs> so while I'm driving back to the base, I would just like to say that let's say if you will want me to clear that warehouse with my brother, and let's say if this video is gonna hit 2,000 likes or whatever, we'll, I will ask him to help me out with that warehouse. I think it would be a pretty fun video. So here we go. I'm back at the base place. My car, we started where we ended, except that I've gotten a bunch of and bunch of batteries. Maybe it's possible to even craft like that electric engine. How expensive is it? It's not that expensive. Like, it's really pretty cheap. We could craft it. So, I highly suggest you checking out my previous Scrap Mechanic Survival video or click on the second card and you'll go to my The Long Dark Let's Play or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs>